Hello students and a very warm welcome to this session. I know JE mains is just round the corner and you would be pretty anxious about it. Well, it's just hardly any time left and so definitely you guys would have covered your syllabus and now you would be in your revision mode. Why we have gathered today is to discuss about some basic intricacies about the JE main maths paper which is basically going to help you to direct your efforts in a certain direction which basically helps you reap the maximum marks in your paper. As we say that mathematics is basically the rank decider in your entire paper. Why? First of all because it is very very scoring. Just with a lot of practice you can score very nice marks in your JE main maths paper. Because the more you practice, the more command you develop over the topics and therefore you are able to put in no time in the questions which are asked in the paper to tackle them and also with accuracy you are able to obtain the answers, right? There is a direct connection between your clarity of concepts of mathematics and your selection to the elite colleges of IIT. And so, it's not just the practice which makes a man perfect, it's the perfect practice which makes a man perfect and therefore, you should be very very clear as to wherein to focus your efforts, wherein to concentrate your energies, your hard work, so that you reap the maximum benefits. For that, we have dis divided the entire syllabus of mathematics into four distinct units. As you can see, you have your algebra, calculus, coordinate geometry and trigonometry to be the four units which constitute your entire mathematics. Here is the weightage of all these four units which has been covered in the five years analysis of the JE main maths paper. Algebra is constituting 35% of the weightage of the entire paper. Calculus covers 32.67%, a pretty large weightage. Coordinate geometry has 25.33 again, a good weightage and trigno comes for 7%. That is the breakdown of the weightage of individual units in your mathematics paper. As you can see, the two highest weightage units are algebra and calculus. And therefore, your concepts related to algebra and calculus need to be thoroughly crystal clear. One thing, one key feature about mathematics paper among all these five years, if you observe, is its consistency. The design of questions, the patterns of questions asked, the weightage which it gives to the topics has been almost the same. And that is what helps us to proceed with the preparation. If I talk about algebra in particular, if I focus on the first unit, how you should basically see the weightage which is distributed among the topics of algebra. Let's try and find out among the analysis which we have done in the five last year papers of JE main mathematics. You can see this complex numbers and quadratic equations accounting for 7 marks out of the entire 120 marks. Then you have permutations and combinations accounting for 3 marks in that section. Then you have Arithmetic progressions, geometric progressions, binomial theorem, everything accounts for 9.67 marks. Then you have mathematical reasoning and induction which accounts for 3.33 marks. Then you have statistics again accounting for 3.33 marks and same is the weightage of probability as well. Then you have matrices and determinant accounting for 6.67 marks. Here you can see there are almost all chapters of 11th, just one chapter of 12th. This basically focuses on the concept clarity of 11th syllabus primarily. Just by having the weightage of which chapters are more important in algebra, you can proceed with your revision process of the algebra unit. Well, if I in general tell you certain topics which are important in algebra which you should very nicely revise are your operations which you can perform with complex numbers, how do basically complex numbers perform in the argent plane, what are the properties of modulus and conjugate of a complex number, then you should be aware about quadratic equations, location of roots of a quadratic equation, then you have your matrices, types of matrices, operations which you can perform with matrices, a joint of matrices, transpose, inverse of a matrix and there is very special thing about a square matrix which is that you can perform its determinant. So you should be very well versed with the properties of determinant which are there. 
After that, you should be aware about AP, GP, the arithmetic mean, geometric mean, harmonic mean, the relation which they exercise. After that, you should be aware about the algebra of events, the algebra which is there in probability. Then you have multiplication theorem of probability, conditional probability, very important, Bayes theorem you have. After that, you have validity of statements, very nicely asked in the paper. These are some of the topics which are very important. Permutations and combinations you just cannot afford to leave. This is generally considered pretty tough by the students, but the questions asked from this particular chapter are pretty not tough. So you can definitely, definitely do this chapter, attempt questions from this chapter very nicely. Now if we move on to the next section, which happens to be your coordinate geometry. Well, from this particular unit, if I say there is a fixed number of questions which is directly based on the formula, which makes this particular unit very, very easy. But on the other hand, it demands tons of practice. If you have practiced, therefore you cannot commit the silly mistakes, the calculation mistakes in the questions related to this unit and only then will you, be, you will be able to maintain your speed, accuracy and comfort while attempting questions from coordinate geometry. Let's look at the breakdown of the weightage of the chapters which are there in this unit. You have your straight lines, circles, conic sections, 3D geometry and vectors falling in this unit. Straight lines accounting for 5, circles again 5, conic sections 6.67, 3D geometry 6.67, vectors 3.33. Primarily conic sections and 3D geometry I would say it's one of the most favorite of the IIT paper setting team. These two chapters account for many many questions if you will see in the last year papers and you'll do an analysis. So you just cannot afford to ignore the importance of these two chapters. Okay, let's move on to the next unit, the smallest unit, having the least weightage as I told you, 7%, it is trigonometry. This is a very small unit if you see according to the weightage and according to the number of chapters also which fall, which fall in this unit. But you should understand, the use of this unit is a lot. Trigonometry is used in calculus directly as functions or maybe sometimes to simplify functions while performing integration and differentiation. It is also very much used in the algebra sections, in your complex numbers, in your matrices. There are highly a lot of uses of trigonometry in not the unit which is trigonometry. And therefore, first thing that you have to do is to clear trigonometry. First thing that you should do is clear all the concepts about the chapters which fall in trigonometry so that you have an easy way out dealing with other units which involve trigonometry, okay? You, will, you won't take a lot of time to complete this unit because there are just two chapters primarily as you can see falling in this unit. First you have trigonometric identities accounting for 5.67 marks out of 120. Next you have your solutions of triangle heights and distances accounting for just 1.33 marks. Primarily, if I try to tell you what are the topics which you should focus on this trigonometry unit are basically your trigonometric ratios, the graphs which you can plot considering your trigonometric ratios as trigonometric functions. After that, you have very important trigonometric ratios of allied angles, trigonometric ratios of compound angles. Then you proceed with trigonometric equations, trigonometric inequations. Then you have solutions of triangle, tons of concepts and solutions of triangle and obviously heights and distances is one, right? Also you have your inverse trigonometric functions falling here. This basic unit is also very, very important. Inverse trigonometric functions basically are something you have to learn about the domain and range of all the inverse trigonometric functions. How do we restrict, now there the concept arises, how do we restrict the domain and the range, basically the codomain to the range so that you can define your inverse trigonometric functions. So clear all the concepts and then you are good to go with this trigonometry section. Also over here when you are dealing with coordinate geometry, some basic topics which you should be very nicely revising are slope of a line, then you have distance between two lines, then you have concepts about centroid, orthocenter, then you have circumcenter, in center about a triangle, 
then you have your direction ratios, direction cosines. After that, you have your equation of line in the space. You have coplanar planes. You have concept of operations which you can perform with vectors. All these things should be primarily revised by you in the end. Moving on to the next section, which is calculus. Again, one of the next, or basically I should say the second highest weightage unit among the four units, as you saw, is calculus accounting for 32.67% out of your 100% paper in mathematics. Here, as you can see, if I talk about calculus, why is this so important is because of its applications, not just in mathematics, but also in physics and chemistry. It's highly applicable everywhere. Anytime you opt for any type of engineering, if you have mathematics, calculus has to account for a major portion in that particular syllabus. That is something that's sure. And therefore, a crystal clear concept clarity is needed in this particular section. Also because there are plethora of varieties of questions which can be posed from this unit. That is why this unit happens to be a comparatively difficult unit. You need a lot of good practice to be able to attempt all the questions in the paper. First of all, to cover all the varieties which can be of the questions posed from this unit. That is what makes this unit very important and slightly difficult. It requires a deal of investment from your side. Here, as you can see, there are chapters following sets, relations and functions accounting for 3.33 marks. Then you have limits and differentiation. Then you have 6.67 marks. Applications of derivatives, AOD also it is called 6.33. Integration having 7 marks weightage. Application of integrals, you have area under curves and all. Then you have that to be 3.33 marks. You have differential equations again falling to be of weightage 3.33. Here, if I primarily focus on which are the topics which are very important in calculus section, well, you should be very well aware about inverse functions. Binary operations is again very nice topic which you have to do, you should do. After that, you should be aware about exponential logarithmic functions, their properties, their graphs. After that, you have your algebra of limits. Then you have concept of continuity. Then you have derivatives of some very nice functions, right? After that, you possess this very, very topic of applications of differentiation applications of derivatives. You have your Rolle's theorem, Lagrange mean value theorem. You have your increasing, decreasing functions, maxima, minima, maximum and minimum values which a function can obtain over a closed interval. After that, you have area under curves, after which you possess your integration of different, different types, definite and indefinite. Then you have your differential equations of which you should know how to find out the particular and general solution and how to get the differential equation from the solution which is available. All these concepts should be crystal clear in your mind and then you can sail through this unit. This completes our discussion about the weightage of the different chapters which fall in these four units. And therefore, now the picture should be very, very clear in your mind as to wherein to concentrate all your efforts, which sections you can take lightly and which you can just not take lightly. And so, on that basis, I have divided the entire syllabus of mathematics under four interesting categories. The seven just not to be missed chapters. You cannot afford to leave any of these chapters. They are under the topic not to be missed. Two to three questions of varied difficulty level are always posed from this particular section. These seven not to be missed chapters, mind it, you cannot afford to leave any of these. They are your 3D geometry, probability and statistics, vector algebra, integration, again very important. You have complex numbers, parabola and trigonometric ratios. You can see the percentage written accounting for their very weightage in the paper. These are not to be missed chapters. Then you have another section falling of easy peasy chapters. You can do this. They are basically the chapters which one does to increase their score in mathematics. But on the other hand, they require a lot of practice. Yes, so that you do not commit any mistakes in the paper and you can get accurate answers related to questions coming from easy peasy section applications of derivatives, 
Limits and continuity, matrices and determinants. You have to do this section very nicely. It really helps you to increase your score in the paper. Then you have the basic, the fundamental, the essential chapters which you have to do, which definitely are asked for one to two questions in the paper from this section. You have inverse trigonometric functions, circles and family of circles, sequence and series, and you can see the percentage which they occupy in the paper. Next you have once done right. You just need to do them once and they are done. Some three to four questions have been posed always from this section once done right. Just do them once and keep them aside. You are good to go. They are the chapters logarithms, quadratic equations, theory of equations, sets, relations and functions, differentiation, permutations and combinations P and C, binomial theorem, locus hyperbola ellipse approximately of 4%. That is what is the distribution of all the percentage or I should say weightage of all the chapters falling in these four sections. You have seven not to be missed chapters. You cannot afford to miss them. I'm saying again and again. Then you have easy peasy chapters. Just do them and increase your score. Then you have the basic chapters. If you can know that one to two questions are always asked from this section, why to leave it? And then you have once done right. Just do them and keep them aside. You don't need to worry about them a lot. So students, that was all about the discussion of the distribution of weightage of all the chapters which are there in the syllabus of mathematics for JE Main. This will really help you to understand how you should plan your studies, your preparation, so that you can reap the maximum benefits from the paper. Well, you should always understand that you have to make a good timetable to study. You do not have to take stress because many of the students do what? They try to forecast their result. They try to predict, they try to estimate what is going to happen in future and that basically creates stress which reduces your efficiency of studying. So you do not have to do that. Eat good food and plan your timetable in such a manner which allows you to take small, small breaks. You deserve that. Moreover, I have seen a lot of students which compare their preparation with other students. See, you can never ever compare. You don't know anybody's journey which is going on. What is important for you is to just put in your 100% in your preparation. Just focus on your efforts completely and do not forget you have to believe in yourself. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in your preparation. Have faith in the hard work that you have been putting from such a long time. And do the entire hard work in silence and let success make all the noise. All the very best from my side, from our institute, to all of you. I'm sure you would be able to perform very nicely in your papers. Thank you.